What's up everybody? Welcome to or welcome back to Northeast Preparedness. Today we're going to take a look at my everyday carry bag. This is the 511 Tactical Moab 6 sling bag. I believe it's an 11 liter bag. But before we get into that, uh, if you haven't done so already, please hit my like and subscribe buttons as well as the bell notification. That ensures that when I do post new content, you'll be notified. So back to the bag. It's not a very big bag and it actually does hold quite a lot of gear for the size. Uh, my only complaint about it so far is how low it sits on my back when I am wearing it. But normally I just kind of grab it by the handle and sling it in my seat or carry it you know, to and from the house or to and from work. Uh, I don't really wear it on my back that often. But let's, uh, let's start looking at what I carry. On the outside of the bag, I kind of use all the molly webbing to hold the stuff that I generally have to grab on the fly. I mean, I'm working around the camera here, which is a pain in the ass. I keep a box knife for opening packages. This is a Gerber Paraframe 2. My go-to flashlight, which is the Anchor Boulder Rechargeable. I actually carry one of these on my person all the time. On the other side, just have a pen, black sharpie. I don't believe I have anything on the other side. Top pouch. I have just a cotton bandana. pair of gloves, some random zip ties, paracord, this is actually I believe 325 pound paracord, not the good stuff, that's it for that pouch, have a little pouch on the sling, and this, keep a small first aid kit, some band-aids, gauze, just stuff for little boo-boos and ouchies. I have my old iPhone 5S, which is basically just a glorified iPod now. That way I'm not running the batteries on my phone down all the time. In the front pocket. have my electronic bag. I'll get into that in another video. Screwdriver I use constantly. I work with computers so I'm constantly swapping components and whatnot. This thing is just a cheapie. Comes in handy. Small Bic lighter. Hand sanitizer, which is worth its weight in gold nowadays. Cheap Sheffield uh, multi-tool. I actually never use this. I generally carry a Gerber suspension on my belt. Just some more random pens and Sharpies. These are sketch pads that I pick up at Walmart that actually work really well for taking notes. I believe that's it. Oh, I have a Rothko mini knife sharpener and a precision screwdriver for adjusting my glasses on there. Inside the main pouch, a pair of work gloves. Just cheapies from Lowe's. This is my power bank. I believe it's uh, 18,000 18, milliamp hours. Um, not quite sure on that. Uh, it does have an unfoldable solar panel. 
actually charges quite quick on a sunny day. I use this thing constantly for my GoPro. Have a book, always reading. Uh, Ready Player One, one of my favorite books. I've read it about seven times. Probably read it another seven times before I change it out for something else. It's my GoPro. Of course, I, I film everything. Uh, I like to film stuff, but I hate being in front of the camera. Just random GoPro tripods, mounts, selfie stick. Selfie stick never gets used, of course. And oh, a pair of Skull Candy Bluetooth earbuds. And the last thing pouch got some random tools electrical tape you know kind of bits and whatnot stuff that I use for tearing down computers and whatnot but that is about it for the bag and what I carry I'm actually thinking about swapping this out for another bag that I just picked up I'll save that for another video though this one Honestly, I'm trying to get away from the tactical look, and the other bag will actually hold my uh, laptop as well as my gear, so that's a big factor in it as well. But yeah, that's my everyday carry bag. I recommend this bag to anyone that, that wants to carry quite a good amount of gear, but really doesn't want a big bag. Uh, if you're into the, the whole tactical look, you'll enjoy this bag. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video... Definitely hit my subscribe and like buttons, ring the notification bell, and uh, be on the lookout for new content coming in the next couple of days. Have a good one.